Today I'm going to be checking out the creative expansion pack and seeing what it has to offer. But first, alright, so I'm going to show you how to download the creative expansion pack. And basically, once you open the link in the description, you want to go to releases over here. You want to click on this, scroll down, and you see assets. You want to click on the latest release, so this one. And then up here, it will download it. It says a 1 because I have already downloaded it before. I'm just showing you how to download it for yourself. Okay, once that is downloading, you want to open the file and it will bring you up with this. Move it out of the way and then you want to open up your Epic Games. If you're not on Epic Games, then I don't know how to install it. But if you have got Epic Games, then this is how you do it. So you want to go to the library and then you want to go to form guides. Click on the three dots here. Manage. And then the little phone the icon here. Open install location. You want to press on that. And then what you want to do when you have opened up the Epic Games folder, you want to take the file that you installed earlier from GitHub, you want to get all of it, and then you want to put it over here in this file. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again, but that's how you download it. And then after you've done that, to finish it, what you want to do is click on Install Bepin EX. You want to double tap that, and then it will bring you up a command, and then when that finishes, you will have the mod installed onto your game. So, if we go over to create new, we can see we have three game modes, race, survival, and rising slime. You can publish race modes, but with survival and rising slime, you can't publish them, or then it will softlock your game. So, let's go into race. You obviously can pick whichever theme you want. I will go with original, because I, I like OG. Right, here we are in the game. So, basically, yeah, it looks like normal creative, right? Well, that's what you would think, until I press F7. Now, I have this. This is basically my menu to do whatever I want. So let's start with this start line. So it's normal size right now, but if I do this, we can make it three times. Okay, <laughs> oh, let me reload in. Here you go. Now we have a massive start line, which is really cool. Even though we do have a massive start line, we cannot make the play account bigger. That is a downside. All right, let's check out some more things we can do. So you see the original fungi bean. If we go on the menu, actually... Type in fungi, and this will come up. Level editor underscore fungi in brackets clone. If you go on this, you can basically scale it to whatever you want. So let's make a, a massive bean. And then if we load into the game, we will now have a massive fungi that we can run around with. If you do end up playing a game, the people who play it, they won't be massive as well. You can only do this in the expansion pack by yourself. So don't try making massive levels. <laughs> oh, also, I forgot to point this out, but in the top right of the screen, you can see the budget is infinite. So I can legit put down whatever I want and the budget will not go up. So let's go on to objects. Let's take a... Uh, a bonkers, for example. We'll place down the bonkers like so. And as you can see, the budget does not change. It's zero still. And as with the checkpoint, we can go we can press F7. Let's get rid of this because we don't want to just be looking for a fungi. And then we'll go to swinging club. This is what it's called in the menu. And then we can make that bigger. All right, there you go. We have a massive bonk, which is really cool. We can also change other parts of the scaling, such as if we change the first number, we can make it really skinny. If we change the second number, we can make it like really flat. If we change the last number, then it will just bring it back to a normal bonkers. So that is really cool. Sometimes you can also make like optical illusions with these obstacles. So let's grab a, a fan, for example. All right, nice, we have a fan. So let's go into the menu and see if we can turn it into an optical illusion. Okay, and let's make it really big and then just change one of the numbers. So let's make the, the first number into a, a one. So now we have this weird looking fan that gets smaller on each side. But if we look at it from a certain angle, it kind of looks normal. Like if we look at it from here, it kind of looks like a normal fan. But if we look at it from here, it's definitely not a normal fan. So that is really weird. Another thing you can do if you press play, you can go on F7. And then let's go back to the fungi, wherever that is. Okay, fungi clone. And now if we go on to character controller and scroll down, there are a lot of options here. I don't know what all of these mean, but if you go to this one, gravity modifier, you can basically fly. So let's set it to like 0 0.001 and then apply it. So now if I jump, I will go really high in the sky. Let's try it. 
Tevis, I'm doing just like a massive jump, which is really cool. Not really a jump or flying, because it is just low gravity, but it's really cool. Yet again, you can't put this in the actual game. Do be warned about that. But that's the creative expansion pack. Thank you for watching, guys. Link is in the description if you can download it. And I will see you in the next one.